Luke Chapter 16 And he said also unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man which had a steward, and he was accused unto him that he wasted his goods. And he called him, and said unto him, How is it that I hear this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship, for thou mayest be no longer steward. Then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? For my master taketh away from me the stewardship. I cannot dig, and to beg I am ashamed. I know what I will do, that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. Then called he unto him every one of his master's debtors, and said unto the first, How much owest thou unto my master? And he said, An hundred measures of oil. And he said to him, Take thy writing, and sit down quickly, and write fifty. Then said he to another, How much owest thou? And he said, An hundred measures of wheat. Then he said to him, Take thy writing, and write fourscore. And the Lord commended the unjust steward, because he had done wisely. Wherefore the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. And I say unto you, Make you friends with the riches of iniquity, that when ye shall want, they may receive you into everlasting habitations. He that is faithful in the least, he is also faithful in much, and he that is unjust in the least, is unjust also in much. If then ye have not been faithful in the wicked riches, who will trust you in the true treasure? And if ye have not been faithful in another man's goods, who shall give you that which is yours? No servant can serve two masters, for either he shall hate the one and love the other, or else he shall lean to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and riches. All these things heard the Pharisees also which were covetous, and they scoffed at him. Then he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. The law and the prophets endured until John. And since that time the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. Now it is more easy that heaven and earth should pass away than that one tittle of the law should fall. Whosoever putteth away his wife, and marrieth another, committeth adultery, and whosoever marrieth her that is put away from her husband, committeth adultery. There was a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and fared well and delicately every day. Also there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and desired to be refreshed with the crumbs that fell from the rich man's table. Yea, and the dogs came and licked his sores, and it was so that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died, and was buried, and being in hell and torments, he lifted up his eyes, and saw Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried, and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivedst thy pleasures, and likewise Lazarus' pains. Now therefore is he comforted, and thou art tormented. Besides all this, between you and us there is a great gulf set, so that they which would go from hence to you cannot neither can they come from thence to us. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren, 
that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one came unto them from the dead, they will amend their lives. Then said he unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rise from the dead again.